Okay, so we're looking now at muscles of the thigh. We're starting off with an anterior view of the proximal thigh. So what we've got here is the rectus femoris right in the middle of the anterior thigh. So there's the rectus femoris muscle there. You can see how it's a bipennate muscle, fibres going in two directions. Then medial to that, so here on this side we have the vastus medialis, okay, just superior to the patella there. Okay, and then on the lateral side we have vastus lateralis, partly covered here by the iliotibial band or tract. Okay, and don't forget that the vastus lateralis is still under that, so if we were to poke through that iliotibial band, we'd still be hitting vastus lateralis. And you can see the vastus lateralis still here, comes all the way around to where the hamstrings are. Now then, of course, deep to the uh, rectus femoris, if we remove a few structures here, actually, I'll just show you while we're here. So here we have sartorius. Now that's too long <laughs> for this for this uh, magnification that we have. <coughs> Sorry about that. But there's sartorius coming <coughs> all the way down to the pes anserinus here on the proximal tibia, all the way from the ASIS way up here. So if we remove sartorius, and then we remove also, this is tensor fascia lata here, attaching into the iliotibial band. Remove that as well. Then we can remove rectus femoris and see deep to rectus femoris, vastus intermedius. And it's mostly tenderness material we can see here, mostly connective tissue, not muscle tissue, we can see there. So that's vastus intermedius. Then we can have a look at the adductors. So now we're looking at a medial point of view. Actually, we'll start off from an anterior point of view. Here, proximally, we have pectineus. Now the next one we can see here is adductor brevis, and we can just see a little bit of it may not be that clear. Oh, if I tilt it that way, it's all right. Um, so here's pectineus, and it ends here. So here is a little bit of brevis, and it's at most of brevis is actually behind this next muscle, which is the ductor longus. So if this were a cadaveric specimen, we'd be able to look behind longus here and find that little slip of brevis, which is shorter than longus, as you'd expect. So pectineus, brevis, longus, and then we have gracilis here, which is a large, well, a long, slender muscle, and again, attaches all the way down here at the pes anserinus, at the proximal tibia. So that's gracilis, right where the seam of your genes would be, okay, right down the midline of the leg, the, the thigh from anterior to posterior, right in the, in the central medial surface there. Then we can see a little bit of magnus here, adductor magnus, in between longus and gracilis, but we can see much more of Magnus here. So this is Magnus here. Now I'll just quickly show you the hamstrings <coughs> while, while we're here, but then we'll remove them and look at the rest of Magnus. So this is the medial aspect here. So here we're looking at semitendinosis, and either side of it here distally, we can see semimembranosis. So tendinosis ends, it, it's quite slender, and it ends at those points, so either side will find semimembranosis. On the lateral aspect, all there is is biceps femoris. So there's only one muscle there, but don't forget it's biceps, so it has two heads. So we have a long head and a short head. They're quite different proximates, but 